What's going on everybody? Sam Dog the Infamous 253 coming at you guys with a quick video to discuss last night's uh last night's first round with the with the pick that we made. So yeah, Seahawks draft defensive end LG Collier from Texas Christian University. So my thoughts about it was well, I know I understand trying to replace replace a guy like Frank Clark, which is obviously tough and I know Argo has been saying this stuff, saying that he'll take Frank Clark, obviously, but he does have no idea that the Chiefs are possibly going to lose Tyreek Hill due to whatever happened with him and his kid. So there's that. But, yeah, on to the freaking LJ Collier pick. From what I watched with some of the – I did man, I did take a look at some of his highlights, and some of my friends were saying that this guy brings a good bull rush, and one other dude was comparing him possibly to maybe in three seasons of him being Michael Sinclair, who was a dominant Seahawks pass rusher back in the late 90s where in three years was like leading the leading the NFL with whatever it was he was doing with with like sacks and and all and tackles too so tackles for losses because so yeah Seahawks surprised many when they select defensive end LJ Collier in the first round of the 2019 draft and fewer when they traded back twice Collier is a pass rusher that some have likened to Michael Bennett so yeah Michael Bennett was his comparison and so yeah both head coach Pete Carroll and general manager Josh Snyder said he fits the Seahawks system well but exactly did Seattle well what exactly did we see in TCU stand out over other available defensive ends so yeah so yeah what they're saying what what does LJ Collier bring what they're saying is power and versatility the way he just yeah, like I mentioned, when I looked at some of his highlights, he looked like he's a he's a tough bull rusher. But I'm not really gonna judge. I'm not really gonna gonna judge until I see it in preseason, you know. Because like I mentioned, we don't know what we're gonna have until we get the first eye test in preseason. We're picking 37 overall today in the second round since we traded pick number 30 back with the New York Giants to get to get a couple more picks and some fifth round picks turning we I mean in the span of some odd days we turned four we turned four picks into nine picks so we have eight more picks coming in these next two days so Rocket Sock Montez Sweat was there at 21 they could have taken him which I I, obvious, I honestly wanted Montez Sweat which I still don't get why we why we were why we traded that pick down but I did also see something that Pete and John wanted Rashawn Gary, but Rashawn Gary ended up going to the Green Bay Packers, which explained why they traded down. And hell, it was back to back years. We traded down with the Packers back to back years because we did it last year for them to get Jari Alexander. And then obviously we drafted Rashad Penny. And now we did it with them again. And this time we used pick number 29 to draft LJ Collier. Note, Mike saw, Mike saw Collier is a big dude, 6'2, 283 pounds, plays with power, plays with anger. And that's what everybody seemed to be excited about last night. Well, we'll wait and see. But I did take out his check out his highlights, and he looked he looked like he was he was just beasting through some linemen to get to the quarterback. So if he works out as as planned, then hopefully we got something. You know, I would love to I would love to see it. You know, but like I said, I'm gonna wait until preseason to know. I'm gonna wait till the preseason to know if it's for real. You know. Then I'll then I'll give my true thought about it. Anyway, I'll give you my thoughts on who we who we get a little later tonight. Give a reaction video to to who we draft at pick number thirty seven and who we draft in the third round. So stay tuned in, like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and thank you new subscribers for coming in last night through Norb's live stream. Appreciate y'all coming through to that too. And if you ain't with it, you ain't infamous. And as always, go Seahawks.